trying to think for itself that doesn't have the element of love, it's going to end up being something negative. Except I learned a long time ago that the second you say no or it's not possible, yeah. you're usually wrong. Yeah. But I agree with you. Something that is strictly three-dimensional, which, you know, does not have the capacity of the higher dimension, on my fourth. Hmm. There's only, there's only above the third dimension is the on my fourth dimension. There's no six, seven, eight, nine dimensions. The on my dimension is the nine, and the fourth is the, the three and six are the fourth dimension, the, which represent magnetism. Three and six is magnetism. The one, two, four, eight, seven, five represent electricity. In between the one, two, four, eight, seven, five, you always have the three and six, which is the magnetism. And in between the three and six, you always have the nine, which is the theta particle, the etheron flux, the spirit. The, um, as far as making things and doing things, though, in artificial intelligence and stuff like that, um, I really cannot comprehend anything that cannot be done using this. Okay. So let's take a look at what we're doing with five boxes. Um, This was the number five was right in the middle. We had five like that, correct? Five was in the inside? Right. Okay. So we come down five now. We're going in odd amounts. One, two, three, four, five. So we come down five. Okay. And where is one, two, three, four, five? So this was it right here? Yeah. Okay. And what's the number in the center? Seven. Well, that's exactly what belongs. Because in be and what's going to be if there's a five there and a seven there? It's going to be, now there's got to be an 8, because 8 doubled is 7, 7 doubled is 14, which is 5. So sure enough, we count down 5. Okay, is that 5? Two. Oops, sorry. Okay, and what's the number in the center? Okay, and what's the number between 4 and 8? A 4? Well, did I do it right? 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. Eight, seven, five. So there's got to be a four. All right, that red four down there. Yeah, four. Right, so there's a four down there. Okay, but it should be five away. Why don't you? It is. Because it's the one. Oh, it is. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's pretty heavy duty. I like it when he's surprised. Yeah, it's like his invention. So the center numbers are, are moving right by that. That's right. The, hmm? the center, the centers are moving. It's it's still alive. Right? Yes. What are you saying, Charlie? Okay. Say it real loud. The center numbers are moving according to our circuit, aren't they? Well, if you do the one right over next, the um, not only the center numbers, the circuit, which are the doubling circuits, what about the 396, 693? They'll actually have the pattern, which is, um, is this it here? Five, seven, so we'll do, we'll do right here, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then the center one. So um, I took it off by two. I staggered them. One, two, three, four, five. Well, it's kind of confusing. So right now we've got another doubling circuit going in the reverse direction. And if we go over here, we'll have the three nine six six nine three, which will be okay. It's kind of hard to do. Oh, here it is. Okay. So here we have a six. Right? And it goes like this. Oh, yeah. That's called philotaxis in plants. It's the same pattern. And here's a nine. One, two, three, four, five. It's making the whole thing with the spaces right. and everything. So that's, that's, the, that's the self similarity appearing, isn't it? Exactly. And you could do that with six. You could do that with grids of six, couldn't you? No. You couldn't? So you, you chose groups of five. On because side, right? we've already covered groups of three. Right. And I did, we've already, we haven't covered groups of two, but every one that we choose has another wisdom. One will always equal the number in the center. One, what do you mean? Oh. One box always equals the number in the center. It's, uh, oh, oh, in other words, right. I'm going to go one, then I'm going to go two, then I'm going to go three. Two, will, which, is two which, is, which is a square, again, we're just doing squares. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Okay. Which is? Two by two. Okay, equals nine. Four plus three is seven, seven plus three is ten is one, eight and one is nine. Right. I can take any four, three and eight and four and three equals, um, what's it equal? Uh, Eighteen. Nine. Nine. Equals nine. Right. So even numbers will always equal a nine. What do you mean? 
even, even, even three, squares. Even, so two by twos, four by fours, right. six by six. Six by sixes. But, but, uh, and uh, one by one is an odd, and what is the three by three? A three by three was making this whole pattern of the nine at the center, and... Um, but it did come to nine, though. Of course, I hadn't taken the three by three and put it off to the side and seen which one it would, what it would have done. Going, okay. um, what is a four by four? Four by four would have been a nine. Let's do a four by four. Okay, this these four groups would have equaled nine. Okay, what's a five by five? Do? Uh, we just did it. Equals the doubling circuits and the equal potential major well, group. Five by fives is a doubling circuit. Right. Seven by sevens. Here's seven by sevens, doubling circuit. Here's, uh, no, here's seven by seven, here's five by five, and they make the same how pattern. The nine, how about the uh, nine by nines, what happens there? Nine by nines? Yeah. It's real deep, serious stuff that you have to be a genius to understand. It, huh? Yeah. I'm not the genius. Oh, you don't know. It's, it goes three, nine, six, I know I should say I'm a genius, but yeah. I just, it's that profound. It goes, it turns from doubling circuits and all this stuff, it turns into three, six, three, six, and then it goes nine, 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 and it all means something, and it's all modeling a higher dimension, and it's just too deep. Have you done 11 by 11? Um, probably not. I think I was happy doing all the analogies and all the different right. variations, right. and I was going to leave it for people That's like cool. yourself to do. Huh. Well, I'm, I'm sure I, I'll try it. Okay. Yeah. Well, it takes a well, lot I of need, paper, believe yeah, well, me. I, I wish I could get um, uh, a chart like that, because then you could play all day with it. Cool a big one? Yeah, that was really erasable. You know? Yeah. A whiteboard? Well, yeah, if you pay the shipping, I'll get you the white. I'll get you one this big, a whiteboard. I could probably. But you got one at school. Well, you know, one of the things I ought to do with my class is have them make this. Right. See if they, because if they, if they can make this, they understand. It. Take a picture have, of it. Right. If they can understand it and explain it, they can win the Nobel Prize because but, but, they'll explain it to the world, but if which we I haven't work done. With it in class, they should, they should be able to. Uh, I should be able to explain it to them, and they can make it up and uh, put tape on a whiteboard. And, so and we figure out all the axioms. Yeah, we could play with it uh, a long time. That's right. Do you want to explain to the world? Yeah, but no, I don't want to explain to the world. I want you to explain to the world. No, you can. <laughs> you do it much better than I do. <laughs> well, that's kind of you. But um, the problem is, is, see, what do you mean I explain it much better than you? Well, because you don't... You think I'm going to be able to explain... Done this. And TV sets going vertical and horizontal with the Z thing going back and forth. You did it right here. Every one of us have people that circumambulate around us. Okay, we each have our own world of friends and stuff like that. Yeah. And there's only certain people that will understand, identify, and relate yeah. to you. Yeah, you need experts in their field to uh, yeah. get into this who then could adapt it to their field and see the patterns appearing in their field, who really have done a lot of experimentation, like, like a, a biochemist getting into this and starting to see patterns and see, okay. That's what you're saying. I'm, I'm saying that, and I'm, and I'm also saying that, um, that I can't take, I can't do anything more because like the experts that he's talking about, I don't have the, the, the books, you know, the, the, the money to buy these books to study these topics. Okay. I don't have the teachers, no. No, I'm not even going. Connections with them. You'd rather, oh, so you just like to plant the seed so it can grow yeah, out. Yeah, the dandelion. Right. Yeah. Is that what you want? Um, the only work that I'm willing to do further on this, per se, uh, is either the periodic table of elements, computers, or biology, modeling genetics. Because my ability is to do stuff that's pretty much impossible for people, okay? Figuring out things that are impossible. And I think the genetics, these are all codes and traces enough of it that people can start figuring it out on their own. But I know those are tough ones. And um, so I really don't mind approaching those and using my abilities and powers. What I really don't want to do, though, is, um, is, is well, I don't know. What I, I don't have the strength. I just don't have, I don't, I'm that spread out too thin, you know. I just, I don't travel to the mainland. I don't, uh, they offer me to pay my airfare, they pay my hotel, I can't handle it. This is too exhausted. So, so my goal is, is that um, you guys do it. Okay. you have about 15 minutes to take. Okay. Um, 
So, um, the law of numbers passing on the energy is the same as the concept, same as all the laws of physics. It's all connected. It's seeing the harmonics and the vibration. Um, I guess we'll go to the brain. Why not? I told you I'd come back to it. We're down to our last 10 minutes. There's the alphabet, there's the numbers. It's a system used by billions of people. I'm not going to go into that deep. I think we'll go into something that I can teach you that no one else will say. This is neuron migration. I call this life-giving biophysical harmonics. I think I'll go into... There's a lot of facts, a lot of basis that I could explain that by. Um, but I'll just tell you how I know it. Okay. Um, the brain... Okay. You don't teach children. Mary works. Marlene's good friend. Um, works at what's the name of the school? Uh, Horizons. New Horizons. Okay. Which is a school for disabled children, handicapped learning, things like that. Um, they teach them each letter at a time. M B T. How to say them. How to do them. What I discovered was, is if you, there are focal centers, and if you learn the nine, if you learn the letters of the name of God, the sounds, meditation, however you want to refer to this, mantras, whatever, you actually can learn all those other letters. I could take those children, teach them a specific sound. I say the name of God, this is real weird, but when I say the name of God, instead of saying, a superlative case in the Baha'i religion is, of the name of God is Abha. It's said to be the highest. It's supposed to be the heavenly world within this physical world. The physical world is referred to as Baha. And um, that's why our prophet was named Baha. And it's called the Most Great Name. There's 360 derivatives of the Most Great Name. So what I did was, I, the superlative case is Abha. It means glorious light, splendor, when they translate it. So to say that name, I don't go Abha, Abha, because I saw the B and H are in conjunction, the 2 and 5. It's Abha is 1, 2, 5, 1. And I concentrate on the 1. And the 1 isn't said as a vowel. It's pure breath. It's, and any vowel they teach in Arabic, which is the Aleph, which begins Abha, is a consonant. So I took the number 1, which is a consonant, which is called the glottal stop. It's said in your throat. It's like in Hawaiian, we see it in all the... the our Hawaiian names, uh, ho, ho, and, and you have a consonant beginning the vowel. So I, I realized that, the first, and there's only one aleph in Abha, there's two vowels, but there's only one which is at the beginning, and the other vowel is connected to that. So to say Abha correctly, I say, Ooh, I can't even tell what I'm doing, I'm holding the glottal stop eternally, and it's just, Ooh, and I'm vibrating this. And this is how I had all the energy to do all this work and why I did it. It's just that simple. This, there's so much more I could have shown you. I threw away 500 pounds of pages and notes on this stuff. So you do that to gain energy before to you To keep start. up my energy. You do a vibrational camp. That's right. Uh, great. Say it louder. That's great. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. When we do yoga, the, the, when, I, when I start resonating there, you can feel it going when we do it together. And the old, and that going, and it And B and H, same thing, compression, decompression, together. <coughs> oh, see if you can make the sound. A, B, H, A, concentrating on the eternal hums on the front. Oh, wow, you guys are good. Yeah, you have to stay low. You wow. Can't Say that again. You gotta stay low, right, so you catch it. Oh, well, that's right. How you doesn't? Interestingly, the letter B in you on 